All right, what's up guys? So, I put a poll out on my Instagram to see what you guys want me to do for my first YouTube video. And the one that got the most votes was how I edit my pictures. So I figured I would go ahead and show that to you guys. Sorry it's late. I need to get some pictures though. I don't don't really have any pictures to edit that I haven't already edited. So let's let's uh let's go do that. Dang guys, would you just look at these pictures? Okay, I'm gonna show you the rest of them in a second. Those pictures came out really nice. And wow, this is my first time holding this camera with one hand, vlogging, and this thing is heavy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, let's, yeah, we're gonna, gonna put you on the drive <laughs> Woo. All right, so I'm just gonna go through a basic of what I do when I edit pictures. So what I do when I first do a shoot or shoot a bunch of pictures like this, I will go through and I will actually start at the beginning. I'll just click through all the pictures, see the pictures that I like, and the pictures that I like, I will actually highlight. So let's find a good picture that I wanna edit. So say I want to edit this picture. It's framed pretty well. It's kind of on that right side. Any others? No, I'm going to go with that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 8. And as you guys can see, down at the bottom of the screen, it turned green. Basically, I'm going to press 8, and that picture is going to turn green. And then I have that one labeled. This one I'm going to pick out. So let's go through, check the rest of the pictures. OK, that one's definite. I was getting labeled green. So now I have all the pictures that are labeled green. And I'm going to go and let's edit this one. This one's already edited, but what I'm gonna do is let me go on here and let's completely strip. Alright. So that one was already edited, but I read it again, we redo the edit on it. I really like this picture, and so yeah. The first thing I start off by doing edit is I always go on and I click auto. And I don't keep the settings like this. This is just like it like this didn't even hardly do anything in this picture. But like it's just like a good starting point for the picture. Um like you can you can obviously go back and tweak the settings a little bit after that. So once I do that, I go down to Lens Corrections, and I'm going to enable Profile Black Corrections. And it already knows my lens off my uh, file, so it fixes that. And as you can see, that did a good bit. You can see those dark around the edges, and then whenever I did that, it basically just brightened it up. That's most of the thing. Like, that's, that's usually all it does for my lens. Um, then I'm going to go in here, crop it down a little bit, get him centered. To where I like it. Uh, that was a little bit. I like that. That seems good to me. Okay, I'm gonna call it that. So then, up that exposure a little bit. I'm gonna drop these blacks. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. Let's up that dehaze too. So as you can see, it was pretty foggy. So it's kind of hard to get that um get good color from him. But once I did that, it helped pretty well. Um, and then also what I like to do with my pictures is, I like to drop the vibrance on them. So I don't like big, colorful, vibrant pictures. I like kind of faded, like the colors are kind of faded, not super like popping out at you. And same thing, like I'm not a huge fan of contrast, so I'll drop contrast down a little bit. But I do like clarity in pictures, I'll up the clarity, and I'm good on here. And then in my tone curve, I'm gonna drop the shadows a little bit, and then I'm gonna, increases highlights so i think the tone curve is actually very beneficial for pictures like as you can see just from the tone curve alone that's the difference 
And then as you guys can see up here, the top of the picture is kind of like darker. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm going to add a gradient on it. And my gradient, I'm just going to increase the exposure so that that looks like that. Okay, now we're gonna go down here. Um, I like to mess with the calibrations of the camera. It's like the color sliders. Like I usually like to up the hue of the red a little bit and then drop the blue a little bit. And then like in these pictures, it's not gonna do a whole lot. Like all you could see was it just did the jacket mainly in this picture because there's not a whole lot of color in this picture. It's mostly white. And also, I'm not a fan of how orange this jacket is. Like you see, it's kind of it's pretty yellow. But I'm not a fan of how orange this jacket is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the hue of the orange, and I'm gonna up that and make the jacket a little bit more yellow. Probably up the yellow a little bit too. Let's go up and up the brightness of that too. I want that to kind of pop out at you. Now also, I want this to feel like you can feel the cold in it. Like, I want to be able to, like, feel this, like, give it, it's giving that kind of winter vibe, so I want to kind of give that vibe off. But I also don't want it to be, like, too blue. I'm going to drop that a little bit, the temperature. And then also, we're going to go down to, go to shadows, and add kind of a bluish tint to the shadows. Now I'll go back and affect this a little bit. And then to kind of counteract for this, I like to do this a lot in my pictures, is choose, like, one of an opposite. So like kind of in the red blue areas and we do like very subtle on this highlight. Let's do like something like that. And then I want it to be more toward the blue side. I'm just gonna drop it that way. A little bit. Drop this temperature a little more. Let's go down to here. Drop that. All right, now I need the whites to kind of brighten up more. So I'm gonna up the whites a little bit that then that color gradient I want to up a little bit more kind of like that I want to add some more clarity to this really make this pop out it's pretty good okay so the one thing I'm not a huge fan of in this picture right now is I'm not a huge fan of this like green right here like greenish kind of colors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush tool. I'm just gonna go like this on it. And let's just go to exposure and just up that exposure a little bit. Drop that saturation, get that side matching. And then it looks like this kind of gets darker as it gets closer because of that, um, because of that fog. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the exposure Expand a little bit, drop the saturation just a little bit. And I have to do two layers of this, so I'm gonna get this next layer right here. Go back again, do the same thing, up the exposure a little bit. Drop that saturation. And now I feel like that's not as distracting as it was. So, this is the final product from this picture. All right, so now one last thing to do on this picture is we get rid of some of the noise. So I always up the noise, probably around 38, something like that, and then up the sharpness on it too. So for this picture, it's pretty much done. This is the final product. There's the before, there's the after this for this picture. Yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys learned something new about editing and something about photography. I hope you guys were able to apply this to your own edits, your own pictures, and pick up some new tips and tricks on the way. I wanna make more videos like this to help you guys as photographers, help you guys as creators. And I want to continue to grow myself as a photographer. Like I'm not the best photographer, I'm just a college student from West Virginia that shoots photography for fun. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, P underscore Shep one. Um, I post a lot of content on there. I plan to make more videos like this in the future and I hope you guys enjoy them. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you guys next time. Gotta set us up for the the transition. Just gonna gonna hook it right on the yeah. You get it.
let's let's go do that. I think I, I think I missed the camera. Let's go try that again. How's it going, guys? Today. <laughs> Dang it, Connor. Why are you like this? I can't see you. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you like this? What are you doing? Oh, you're doing it right here? Dude, I'm trying to film my YouTube video, okay? What's up, YouTube channel followers? You should follow my boy, P. Shep Media. That's right. He gets the best pictures in town. You want your pictures done? You go to P. Shep Media. Why? Because you want to look like shit in your pictures? No, you don't. You want to look like a goddamn model. That's what this man does. Boom! I'm hyped for you. Bloopers. This is this is being a blooper reel now. Damn right it is. Let's go do that. Dang. That really. I think I got the transition down right. <laughs> Just. So let's, let's 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 go shoot now. <laughs> 